How's it going? Today, I'll be giving you my first impressions of Hogwarts Legacy. So first things first, the opening was far better than I thought it would be. So the game starts out with you making your way to Hogwarts and encountering some trouble on the way there. And this sequence is actually a tutorial as well. You learn your basic attack, you learn your counter system, some basic spells like lighting and also searching the area. So the first mission actually serves its purpose quite well. And obviously Hogwarts is a school, so as you'd expect, you'll be learning as you go. Right now, I believe I've learned like four or five more, such as a fire spell, Accio to bring stuff to you, Levioso to knock stuff in the air, all very unique and function quite well. And with spells comes combat, which in my opinion is the most important part of any game, so I'll be touching on that next. So this game functions kind of like a ranged version of Spider-Man or Batman. It has a huge uh, focus on countering, so you'll be casting spells here and there with your basic attack and also the naming spells too, like Accio. And between all these things, you'll be using your counter as well, which on PC is Q. This will put up a shield and you'll deflect the spell. Whenever you need to counter, there'll be a symbol above your head. So once this happens, just press Q and then you do a split second shield, which will knock the spell away. And sometimes as well, you'll have to use your dodge too. So just for things like charging to avoid the attack completely. On PC, this is control. The way combat functions so far is using your spell to break the shield with the matching color, such as Accio for purple, fire for red, and uh, Levioso for yellow. And after this, just use basic spells or also other name spells once the shield is gone. And every now and then just press Q to counter the attacks and dodge is needed. And in between all of that, you'll be using Ancient Magic too. And this is kind of like a uh, bar that you build up to do special abilities. It's kind of like a one hit KO in my experience so far. This ranges from crumpling a suit of armor, or raining down a lightning bolt, turning someone to a chicken. These feel very good to use. They're very satisfying in my opinion. However, the combat isn't perfect. It has some issues too. One major one is the targeting system. First of all, on PC, caps lock is an awful button for a uh, lock on. So I changed mine to a mouse button. And second of all, moving the lock on with the arrow keys is very bad. I don't like doing that, it's very awkward. It should be based on the mouse movement as well, like the basic target. And third of all, the basic targeting system too is a little bit wonky. Sometimes you look directly at someone, but rather than them glowing, the person behind them will glow, the person to the side of them, even though you look directly at them. So. I believe that can be patched. I hope it is because it's a little annoying when your uh, shield break hits the wrong person instead. So hopefully they fix that. And also I'll prefer if the camera was a little bit more zoomed out. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the symbol above your head for the parry, which makes it a little bit hard to time sometimes. But I've gotten used to it somewhat, so it could just be a personal problem, but maybe other people feel the same way too. As far as characters go, so far I've met a good variety. I've met two companions, one Slytherin and one Gryffindor. I've also met four of the professors, Potions 1, Herbology, Dark Arts, and also Charms. They're all very distinct, have their own personalities, and ways that they teach and engage with students, so I think they're fleshed out nicely so far. I'm not sure if there's any more, but I assume it probably is. As far as the whole atmosphere goes and the environment, I have seen a few different environments. I have seen a labyrinth, a couple caves, Hogwarts obviously and a couple small towns, one of those being Hogsmeade, which has quite a few shops. 
and actually feels like the actual town, which is nice. So, so far, so good for the atmosphere. And the way leveling works is based around collection, actually. So, you go around, scan, find some paper here and there, some different landmarks, collect those, and as a reward, you get XP for it. You will also have like, different puzzles too that are based around your abilities like Levioso and Lumos, so nothing's really like, a big hassle, it's just like small stuff here and there that you can do as you please. Nothing's like really um, a huge time waster. So exploring and uh, finding different stuff actually has some value here, not just achievements. So far, I'm really liking the game. The combat's fun, the story's good so far, and the environments are nice. And that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. So, for more and comment sessions, if you have any thoughts, questions, suggestions, let me know and respond in the comments. See ya.